Hello. Do I know you? I don't think so. This is a business phone. Get off of it. Say what? Now listen, you stupid son of a bitch. I've never called you before, and God damn it, you bitch about it every third day to call me, so fuck you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, nutcase. You're from Brooklyn, New York, so you must be an obnoxious motherfucker. Hello, asshole. <laughs> Hey, is your mama still got uh, worms crawling out of her pussy? <laughs> How much do you have to drink today? Well, I don't give it a shit. I don't drink. <laughs> you know anybody in Virginia? Know. We're just going to do remodeling stuff. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Why are you acting oh. like this? Pardon me? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. What are you talking about? Are you called me? No, I did not. You know what? I've been getting calls all day long that I'm calling somebody, and I'm not calling anybody. Huh. I haven't called you, that's for sure. I don't even know who you are. This is uh, Herbert Belvines. This is Fred. Fred who? My name's Fred Herbert. Do you remember me? Nope. I'm right across the street. Right across the street? Yeah. Hello? Hello, I'm still here. Well, because this goes on all the time. I'm on YouTube, and they prank call me all the time. Well, I'm sorry about that, buddy, but uh, I didn't... Hello? Hello? Velvinch, this is Fred. Hello? I don't... Your brother is in jail. My what? Your brother is in jail. My brother is in jail. He is had it? sex with a minor. What's his name? What's my brother's name? Lawrence. My brother's name is not Lawrence. Wow. I think you have the wrong number. Hey, you know what? I'm going to wring your fucking neck. How are you? Do you know Go who I am? Go sit under a tree. Are you sure you're talking to the right person? I don't, I don't understand. I'm so. Come to my office. Uh, who? Who is Do you this? want to have a relationship with me, sir? I don't know who you are. My so name's Fred know. Herbert. Excuse me? My name's Fred Herbert. I don't know who, I don't know a Fred Herbert, so I can't come to your office. I don't know who you are. Wow. I'm right across the street. From where? See the big red letters that say bell buns and the neon <laughs> clock in the window? No, I don't see any of that. It's always that way. So you want to know what oh, the bell bond business is all about? Sure. If you're sentenced and you're in prison, you just have your time to do. Bail is a bail is something that you can post while you're fighting your case. That's right. It's ruining my life. So why are you going to wring my neck? I get the government check and get high. Government check and get high, huh? Yes. It's very interesting. Is there something I can do for you today? Yes. What's that? I would like to put my white dick in your brown ass. That's interesting. Yes. I don't think I can help you with that. Wow. I'm going to have my agent, John, recording us.
That's interesting. I don't know I've what you're going to do with come this. into my office. I've had them handcuffed. I don't know where your office is. 435 West Mission Boulevard. Gotcha. That's not a, really a full address, my guy. 147 North Euclid Avenue in Upland. Upland where? California. I don't live there. Wow. Wow. Yes. And I'm yes. going to fuck you. No. No, you're not. Are you looking at my ad right now? I'm not looking at any ad. You called Look me. Look at herbertdelbines.com. Herbertdelbines.com. I don't know what that is. Yes. I'm not going to go to that either. What website do you have up? I don't have a website. Let me go get my marijuana. Your marijuana? Yes. This is a really fascinating conversation, I have to say, but I'm really not interested in continuing this because... I've got drugs for sale. Oh, now you have drugs for sale. Okay. Yes. That all makes sense now. Well, you Cocaine. know what? Um, methamphetamine. I have to tell you, I'm drugs for sale. My brother's in prison, and you are across the street in your office, and you're going to ring my neck. Those all are really very cool things to, to talk about, but I really don't think that you know who I am or that. Thank I'm you very much. This information. Boy, sick. Excuse me? Go online I'm and sick. look up bestiality. I'm not going to do that. I've gotten bestiality from you before. No, you haven't. I, I'd like to talk to Carrie. I've never heard. i never heard anything like this before. This is a definitely, completely, you know. I don't know what to say, man. It's just some sick motherfucker on the phone. It's really amazing to me. Somebody put the time to do this. I am Fred Herbert. I know exactly who you are. Who am I? Dimitri Thomas. Dimitri Thomas. That's a good guess, but it actually is not even close. <laughs> wow. Never heard of Dimitri Thomas. Are you asking your wife? Wow, it's kind of exactly the same. You need to probably hang up and... Go away. What do you want? You called me. I did not call you, sir. What's your phone number? I'm not going to give that information to you. I've been. I've had thirty calls today from and and uh, that I'm calling somebody. I'm not calling anybody. You said you made thirty calls today, and you're not calling anybody. That's an interesting paradox you got set up. Yes. There, buddy. Maybe you should be more prepared for this call. I don't know uh, what this call is. Waiting for their site to come up here. Hmm? I you went to an AA meeting just yesterday. Did you? You're in California, right? I got 25 years since I drank, and I was the worst drunk. Ah, you're drunk. That makes so much more sense now. Yes, I know. That's... You know I should have guessed. It sounded a little bit like this was a uh, speech to talk. Uh-huh. But, uh, you're drunk. That makes sense. I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. Oh, I'm, yeah, and I'm not going to tell you. Um, and that's okay. You don't need to know that. I've been a bellbindsman for... 46 years and a cop before that for four or five years. And so, I mean, I think I've seen it all. Well, what did you say her name was, sir? Is this Gregory Stevens? Herbert? It isn't. You said your name was Herbert? My name's Fred Herbert. Fred Herbert? Listen, Fred Herbert, buddy, um, I really think the best thing for you to do, if you really are indeed, uh, 
very drunk or high or all of the above, I would recommend that you hang up this phone call and call somebody who can help you. Um, because it sounds like you got a little bit of a problem, and I really can't help you with this on the phone. And I'm not going to give you any information. It's really why are you bad. acting like this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not who you think you. I'm not. I don't think you called the right person. But um, I'm sorry for your situation, and all I can tell you is that you need to get some help. <laughs> They're telling me I'm crazy. I didn't say you're crazy. I just said you've gotten a lot of things in your system that really shouldn't be there. You ever heard the song, uh, Needle plan. in the Spoon by Leonard Skinner? That's what I mean. Well, that smells the same way. Wow. Smell of this around you, buddy. I'll keep my Hurt. eye on it. You're hurting yourself by doing this. You know that, right? You're the one calling me, acting strange. I didn't call you, man. I didn't call you. I... I got a phone call and I answered it. That's all I can tell you. Robert I'm on Herbert YouTube and they prank call office. me all the time. I I think you might have called the wrong number that you think is calling you. Somebody else is calling you. There's some sick First person out there that's Herbert. doing this. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is something they recorded on for me a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah? I'm a bell bondsman, so I can get away with it. Sorry to hear that. I'm smoking weed. What's that? I started smoking weed in 1970. Well, that was probably not a good idea, buddy. It's always that way. It's always that way? You're starting it's to make me wonder way. here. Yeah. Well, you know, they say smoking weed's okay, but I don't know. If it makes you do stuff like this, it's probably not a good idea. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? Um, I don't understand what you're talking about. I have acted completely normally. Are you having fun? Um, not really. I don't really understand That's what's going on. That's not good information. Honestly. What's that? That's not good information. That's not good information. See, now it's starting to sound like um, text to speech again. Uh, text, to, text to speech. What, what's going on here? See, these phrases are all sound the same. I don't know I what's going on. I think this is a recording. Um, it sounds Just like say I'm hi, to Fred. Hi, Fred. I just wanted to make sure it was really you. I've had completely normal responses. And they're probably you know am, recording us right got now, the adding hair. to their uh, stuff. What's that? And they're probably recording us right now, adding to their uh, stuff. Yeah. You know, that's what they say, anyway. Listen, and, uh, I, I don't know what to do. I have a reason. I kind of suspect that this is trying, you're trying to do, somebody's trying to do something to make, to fool me into doing something, but I didn't call you. You called me, said that you're for Fred Herbert, something about California, a lot about drugs and in my neck and something about coming to your office, and I didn't know none of that. So don't know anything about what you're talking about. Nothing you said is, you know, I, there's a lot of things in life that don't make sense. Yeah, this phone call is definitely one of them. To pepperoni with extra cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely descending into the nonsense round, buddy. My name is Italian. Fred Gordon Herbert, and I go by Fred Herbert. But some people would go by Gordon, let's say, even though that's their middle name, you know? Yeah. You are going to pay. See, that definitely sounded like text-to-speech, what you just said. Can you say that again? Well, you need to get some better firearms. I don't know. You say you're going you know to pay that again. brown shit that comes out of your ass, eat it. 
Say, say you're gonna, you're going to pay. That's what you said earlier. Yes. See that definitely. Why would you suddenly say yes to that? You know, I, this has been very entertaining. Uh -huh. I have to say. What that villain with a firearm? I don't have any firearms, Sonny. I know where your parents and family live. No, you don't. Cock eating bitch. See that? Okay, yeah. Now, now I know what we're doing. Okay. Hey, you know what? Okay, now I understand. You fucking asshole. Yeah, that was a definitely. I've got your phone number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Constantly. Constantly. Oh. Yes. Probably should have hung up a long time ago. Um, is there something you want me to do here, man? Are you interested? In what? Do you want to have a relationship with me, sir? Hell no. Wow. Can I get some sexual satisfaction? Please. Hell no. Right in the butt. Um, this conversation is over. I would like to put your dick in my ass. Yeah, no, no, this is very clear. Bestiality. Hey, you know, I want to, whoever did this, applaud your efforts. Because I have to say, I've never experienced anything like this before, and I found it very interesting. Um, I think it's really stupid, and I'm really sorry that you spent your time doing this. But good job. I don't know what you're trying to gain, but uh, it's very interesting. Very interesting. I know sure. you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Well, guess you'll never know. Did he sound intoxicated to you? Uh, very much so. Actually, you know, he sounded more like a robot than anything else. Yes. I would go with a no. No, you don't sound intoxicated. You sound like somebody, uh, you know, got a program and typed some crap in to say over and over again. But I'm surprised Thank at you how well you much. answer things to say. It's beyond my comprehension. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's very clear. I don't think you have a lot of comprehension, buddy. Well, then you'll need to talk to a lawyer about that. Um, that's a very interesting reaction. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to keep doing what I was doing before. I might suggest you use hang up, so... Um, I think I think we're done here, here, buddy. My computer was talking to me. I don't think Jimmy Buffett approves of this message. Boy, I'm sick. Hello. No. So what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Surprise. Hello? Do you remember me? No. I don't know who you are. Why don't you tell me who you are? Fred Herbert. Herbert. Who, Herbert? Where do My you live, Herbert? My name is Fred Gordon Herbert, and I go by Fred Herbert. But some people would go by Gordon, right. let's say, yeah. even though that's Gordon. their middle name. It's so I don't know, know why somebody would do this. Oh, who knows, dude? They're probably yeah. hacking your bank account right now. So hopefully, well, they're well, so hopefully they're well, trying right. to find my location. That's what they've already done, yeah. and I should have not listened this long. Yeah, but, uh, that's right. Um, I think they might Give want me, me to say my number. name or something. Oh, you want my credit card You're number? Is that what you want? <laughs> Should I give online. you my credit card yeah. number? If you say your name, yeah, they can use it to get into your stuff. That's yeah. You're right. You're right about that. I am sitting in front of my computer looking at bestiality. <laughs> All right. I'm done here. Yes. No. Look at HerbertBelbines.com. 
I'm going to Google this when I'm done. And I'm probably not going to be too happy at the results. Yes, bye -bye, I know. Bye-bye, Fred. You'll see our ad. Bye-bye. Goodbye. All right, homie. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Valvanch, this is Fred. Yeah. Do you remember me? No. Nope. Your brother is in jail. Who? Your brother is in jail. Who are you talking about? He had Who's sex this with a minor. My name is what? Fred Herbert. What's your name again? I am Fred Herbert. You are Fred? Your name is Fred? Yes. Okay. This is uh, Herbert Belbines. Okay. We're a 24-hour office, so if you're... Uh... If you want to come in, we'll pull this all up for you. Pull what up for me? I'm lost. Do you what, want to you have a relationship about? with me, sir? Me? Yes. Well, I think you got the wrong number. I get the government check and get it high. The what? I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. What are you talking about? You got the wrong number. I've been a bell bondsman for 46 years and a cop before that for four or five years. And so, I mean, I think I've seen it all. Why are you doing this? Hello. No. What's up? No. It's a Frank Garrett. How are you? Here we go again. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Who are you, buddy? You know something? Hello. Hello. Oh, my best friend. How are you, buddy? Things pretty dry up around your house? I'm doing all right. How are you? Well, this is too, so piss on you. You ain't got nothing on me. You know what you're going to do when you get out of your goddamn wheelchair? You're going to fall, you son of a bitch, and I hope you do. Wheelchair working? This is a business phone. And you sound a little bit old to be making prank calls. This is a fantastic soundboard. Where did you get this one? Hey, if you're not calling, how come I'm answering the goddamn telephone? This is funny. I hope this is a computer and somebody's actually listening. This is great. I haven't heard that. But I answered your call. This is funny. I like this phone just rang, and I answered it, and it was you. Now explain that one to me. I don't know how to explain that one to you, boy. You're a fucking liar. I, I guess I am. I'm on the show. I don't know talking about nothing. That's right. I didn't get the speakerphone off. 
you well, sound like you get a lot of stupid phone calls. I'll tell you, the poor guy that has seen these nice things. Hey, is your mom a uh, uh, worms crawling out her pussy? It's really entertaining. I can't help but feel a little bad for the bull bite. That's yeah, what I said, yeah. Bite, I mean, that's for darn sure. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello, buddy. My name is Frank Gary. Frank Gary. Frank Gary or a bunch of corns on a soundboard somebody's playing. Frank That's Gary. really funny. I almost feel bad to block this number. But... I'm a real person. You can bet on that. Well, I'm bet on that, huh? Oh, you stupid bitch, you probably couldn't even find a way. I couldn't, that's for sure. Well, I think you can get a hope you get a fucking cancer patient dies. That's a little rude, Lane, don't you think? No, sir. Whoosh, what? You know something? You stupid bitch. Yeah, he wasn't really very happy when you were, were calling him a whole bunch. You get my telephone number, why don't you come down and see me? I like that one right there. That's a good one. Slow down, you son of a bitch. Where is out here? Play a different one. You're in New York. You don't scare me too fucking much. That was good. I like that. That's very funny. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Huh? I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm on the cell phone. That one wasn't quite as entertaining. Well, they all kind of talk for you and the gravel bullish man and everybody. Okay. Fuck well. you, asshole. There's a lot more variety in this. Well, I don't give a goddamn. I'll give it to you. <laughs> what do you say to these people to get them to say this? No, fuck you, fat boy. I mean, seriously. Put a phone, you come down here with my ass or something, would you? <laughs> well, that's another funny one right there. If you real tough, if you hide behind these goddamn right. telephones, why don't you come down and see me? Yeah, but, I mean, you see, you gotta string them together. The other guy, the Frank Gordon, he, they, Frank Gordon Herbert thing, they strung all his words together to say whatever they wanted it to say. I live in Oklahoma, asshole. Yeah, this is just random dialogue points at this point. This is still well, Oklahoma. You're still shit. Oh, it's somebody else now? Say Bill? No, sir. What's your name? What's your name? It's a Frank Garrett. I'll say, look, you do respond to what I say. Frank Garrett Duncan. with Duncan. Duncan. What, Duncan? Duncan Construction. Oh, construction company. I own Duncan Construction. Do you? Well, Frank Gary. Yes. I've had a fantastic time. You know, it makes me wonder if it's a robot. Can, do you think they could do that? That would be really cool if you did that. If you could just make this automated. And every so often they just call this person and then after a certain set of responses, it would replay one of their recordings. Because if it gets a response that doesn't understand, does it just play a random recording? No. Does it play a... No? Oh, okay, it doesn't. <laughs> See, now I think it's a real person, which really makes me happy, because I think that's funny. You make me want to laugh, you son of a bitch. It's good.
Uh, I really appreciate it. Do you think he already gave this grass or something? The what? Do you think you are Jesus Christ or something? <laughs> uh, no, I do not. No, I don't. I'm a real but person. Look. You can bet on that. I will bet on that. Um, listen, I'm definitely going to go with this one after I'm done here. Frank Gordon, huh? That's well, you called to it, but you probably got it, ain't you? I can, I'm not also going to really understand that one either, but listen, uh, that's really interesting. I'm um, Frank Gary. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. Yeah. Well, Frank and Gary. Um, two kudos to the creator of this. I feel a little bit bad blocking this number, but I'm not really too interested in having this conversation later. But it did entertain me if that was your goal. I hope it entertained you as much as it entertained me. Get him, retardos. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna drop something. Oh, fuck you, Merry Christmas. I hope Sandy Call shit's on you. Well. Goodbye, Frank. My number is nine one eight six nine six two seven eight eight. That's cool. The number you called me on is six four six six nine three six nine six three. It was. That's right. Okay. Bam! What? Ha ha ha! Cranky buddy. Well, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna hang up the phone now, man. So I don't give a shit. There you go. I, I'm I'm not gonna call anybody. I said I wasn't gonna call anybody. I don't give a shit if you're Jesus Christ. You really like to talk about people being Jesus Christ, don't you? The phone just rang, and I answered it, and it was you. Now explain that one to me. Beyond me. But I answered your call. You did. You did. How'd you find my number? God damn it. That's what I said. A minute ago, you gave it to me. So I really think that if you didn't want people to know your number, you probably shouldn't have said it over the telephone when they were recording. I hate to say it. Did you call me? It's really too easy, isn't it? Too easy for you folks to make a soundboard of this. It's really kind of funny. Yes. That, that easy. <laughs> See, you said yes. <laughs> That's great. I really hope it's fun. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> if you're making a soundboard out of me, then... Wow. Yes. Don't have to say it. Oh, he is. Cool. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. All right, well. I don't have anything else to say to you. I bet you're the ugliest son of a bitch in nine counties. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Well, big deal. Get you a dozer man and get it done. <laughs> what the heck? All right, bye bye. Fucking Japanese don't even know what a barn is. <laughs> what is this guy? Well, come on down. Could have found you come down here with my ass or something, would you? There it is again. You don't even live near me. I right. wish I did. I live in Oklahoma, asshole. I do. Sounds like it. Yeah. Wait. Let's see if it'll do this. Say the one. Let's say. Let's say the one. Say the one about the construction. Duncan construction. Hey, see? Yes. 
Yes. Uh, I really appreciate that. That's really funny. It's just about the fourth call you've made today. Hey, is your mama still got uh, worms crawling out her pussy? Yeah, that one's just not doing it for me, man. Sure is. Well, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Now listen, you stupid son of a bitch. I've never called you before, and God damn it, you... 